Welcome to Callum Connects, five minute entrepreneurial inspiration for your day. Paul Claxton is our guest today on Callum Connects micro podcast. Paul is a five year serial entrepreneur working in AI and robotics, and he's also a venture partner at Mid Market Robotics and AI VC Fund. A hurdle I had to overcome as an entrepreneur was learning how to think differently. What does that mean? I'm talking about what's not working. I'm not talking about what's not working in terms of you're not making the kind of money you you wanna make or you're not driving the kind of fancy car or Ferrari you wanna drive. I'm talking about what's not working in terms of, look, I'm trying to progress forward every day, whether it be by an inch or a mile to achieve my personal and professional goals, right? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about thinking differently in terms of ingredients, right? What's the right mixture to get the kind of flavor that you want out of your life? So when we talk about what's what's working or what's not working, look, we start with what's not working, right? And then we keep trying different ingredients. We add things, we take them, we take them out and we throw them away. And then until we find a mixture that works and we find that solution that works, then we stick there and we build good habits on that, right? Next thing you need to know in terms of what's not working and the reason why that's so important is because entrepreneurs, they're not born. Entrepreneur, psychologically speaking, is not a natural human tendency to face your fears. So constantly have to overcome your fears every day instead of being in a cocoon. We are built over a long period of time. So that is why thinking differently is so important as an entrepreneur. The next thing is, is that you're gonna go through entrepreneurship, you're gonna go through life, and you're gonna be constantly presented with challenges. You're gonna have these challenges, these problems that come up, thinking differently will help you get to that epiphany that you need to find that right solution, right? Next thing we're gonna talk about is how, how do you do all that though, right? What are the tools to help yourself do all that in terms of thinking creatively, thinking differently? First thing is advice. Just like a trash can in your house, you wouldn't leave it sitting there for weeks on end, building up with trash, you would take it out, right? Some advice is terrible, it's like trash. Take it out, take it to the landfill, take it to the dumpster, right? But sometimes you've got some things in your house that you don't wanna throw away. Maybe, maybe it was a family photo album from your wedding. Now you wanna keep that, that's good positive stuff, right? So be careful whose advice you take, but also digest it. Think about it, give it food for thought, and decide what you're gonna do with it, okay? The next thing is education. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to be taken on the world, otherwise what are you doing, okay? You need informal education, you need to be networking, meeting people from all walks of life, high context and low context cultures, right? You need to be doing things like learning about different trades and industries and traveling and so forth. That's informal education. Other thing is, formal education, go to school, get your certifications, read books, write books, all that's gonna help you pursue formal education or empirical research and, and information that is gonna help make you better because the world is constantly changing, okay? The information that you had yesterday is not the information that you need for, for tomorrow, okay? You're, you gotta constantly be growing, that should be lifelong. Next thing and last thing is, Never forget where you came from. Start at the bottom, build yourself up, right? And that will help you never forget where you came from. The other thing that will help you do is it'll help you ensure that you are not porous to any kind of BS. You're not absorbent to any kind of BS because you've been there and done that. You've been through the school hard knocks. And I'll close this out by saying you can take this advice and keep it or throw it away. If you've enjoyed today's show or got any value from today or previous episodes of Callum Connects, do please subscribe and leave a review. It means the world to our guests to be able to see when their sharing has led to your learning.